So we're on to chapter 6 of MYP5 Unit 1 and we're on to the new stuff, having revised all of the rules of indices and how to use them. We're now on to logarithms. So what is a logarithm? So as a discussion, what we did in class, we said, what is x if 10 to the power of x is a thousand? So we're not used to seeing an unknown quantity x um, as a power in an equation yet. Um, but you can probably see from that that x is 3. You, can, you, you know that 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. Uh, but how would we solve a harder problem of this type? So we need a, a method for solving problems like that where we can't easily spot the answer. So we use logarithms. And um, in words, the, the log of a number is the power to which you raise the base to get the number, which um, in itself is quite, hun quite hard to grasp the meaning of, but um, with an example it's a little bit easier to see. So 10 to the power of x is a thousand. Um, as a logarithm, another way of writing that relationship between 10 and x and a thousand is to say that um, the log of a thousand to a base of 10 is x. So it's just a, a rearranged way of expressing that thing, um, but your, your calculator can work out what that is. So your calculator can work out logarithms with uh, 10 as the base. So if 10 to the power of a number equals another number, your calculator can work out what the, the x is by typing in the log of the number that makes the answer when you do 10 to the power of x. This needs some examples to illustrate it, so here we go. So, as I said, luckily our calculators have a button for doing base 10 logarithms. So if you find the uh, log button on your calculator and you do log of a thousand, you get the answer 3. So that is telling you that 3 is the power to which you have to raise 10 in order to get a thousand. So um, here's another example. Um, 10 to the power of x is 500. What is x? So there's no simple, easy power that we can raise 10 to and get 500. We know that 10 to the power of 2 is 100. And we know that 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. So x is somewhere in between the two of those. 10 to the power of something between 2 and 3 is going to give us 500. So there's that just uh, stated below. Note that 10 to the 10 squared is 100 and 10 cubed is 1000. So we expect a solution between 2 and 3. So another way of writing that relationship, if 10 to the power of x is 500, then x is the logarithm to a base of 10 of 500 and our calculators do base 10 logarithms so we just punch that into our calculator log of 500 and it's about 2.7 so 10 to the power of about 2.7 gives you 500. Now more modern calculators can do that with other bases but um, if you have a calculator that can only do it for uh, 10 as the base then you need a few rules of logarithms in order to manipulate things. And um, chapter 7 will deal with the rules of logarithms.